In this video, let's look at Auto LLM. Auto LLM is a Python library with which you can automatically create LLM apps in seconds. This is developed by safevideo.ai. So let's look at a demo of this library and then let's come back to some highlights of why say this is uh, more useful than Langchain or Llama index, right? Uh, so they have a collab demo over here. So I opened up the collab demo, okay? So this is a normal CPU instance. So what I do over here is that first you need to install the various required libraries. So they had a default code over here where, you know, uh, you could actually chat with the particular GitHub repo. Okay. I modified this to read from a PDF file. So for that, I need this extra pi PDF, which needs to be installed. Otherwise it throws up an error in the document reader. So you install auto LLM, Gradio, Git Python. Okay. Uh, and be convert and these libraries first. Then from auto LLM, you will import auto query engine from auto LLM dot utils. You will import read GitHub repo. You don't require this because I'm not making use of it. Uh, I am using this read files as documents. Okay. I import OS, import Gradio. Here you are setting your open AI key, which is the default uh, LLM for your rag based LLM, retrieval augmented generation based LLM. And uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo is used over here. Uh, this is my open API key, which I will delete after I upload this video. Now you want to read files as documents. Okay, so this is the code for reading from GitHub repo. Here you are specifying a GitHub repo URL, relative folder, relate, uh, required extensions, which needs to be read. I'm not making use of this code. What I'm doing is I am reading from a local folder. So I have uploaded a file under a folder called documents over here. And this is a particular booklet on a certain disease condition. Okay, this is a PDF file. So I uploaded that over here. So all I have to do is that in the required extensions, I have to specify .pdf. Suppose if you have CSV and other formats, they have a list of supported file types. Okay, uh, so let's look at that. Uh, what are the various file types? So they support these file types, CSV, JPEG, JPG, PPTX, doc, PDF, lot of these files, okay. Suppose if you are having multiple file types under this folder, you can specify the different extensions over here. And you can read the documents like this, read files as documents, input directory is this particular folder and required extension is this required extensions. Okay, so this will actually read the document for you. And then you can use very simple query engine is equal to auto query engine from parameters past the documents. Okay. This will actually, this is the default configuration over here, which will, uh, you know, convert this um, document into embeddings um, using OpenAI embeddings, and then it will store it in its local vector database. Okay. So this is auto LLM defaults to Lance DB as the vector store since it is lightweight, scales from development to production, 100x cheaper than alternatives. Okay. In addition, if you want to do advanced usage, you can actually do a lot of things like you can specify a system prompt, a query wrapper prompt, and you can do things like this. The vector store, uh, where it is present, the URI uh, table name, what is the chunk size, you can do all these additional advanced operation also. I have directly used the default operation over here. Okay, whereby I'm creating a query engine. And now what you can do is that I don't run this part of code because I'm just doing the basic one. Okay. Otherwise, you can do this advanced also, whereby you can specify these vector store, service context params, your uh, similarity parameters, your prompts, and other things. Okay. So here I'm just running this response is equal to query engine.query, and here is my query. What is fibromyalgia? And here it says uh, LLM prompt token usage is 820 tokens, completion is 124. So the total cost is this dollar 0.001. Okay, that is the cost for this query. And here is the response. Okay, fibromyalgia is a long term condition that causes this is from the PDF document. Okay, uh, so it has done this uh, particular response it has generated. Okay, now the best part is you can also uh, get a Gradio app over here, a very simple Gradio app over here. And because I wanted to show it on a public uh, URL, I made this share is equal to true, otherwise, it will run over here. So once I click this URL, so this is the UI which has been opened and this is the query which I have submitted and this is the response. What are symptoms of fibromyalgia? It gives the symptoms of fibromyalgia include pain throughout the body, fatigue, difficulty, sleeping. So this is pulled from the document. Okay. 
now let me clear this and let me put another query like uh, what are treatments for this condition so here is the response which is generated okay the treatments for fibromyalgia mentioned in the provided context include drug treatments acupuncture things like this so here i quickly created a small medical chatbot for a particular condition using this auto llm okay i have to upload the documents over here it does retrieval augmented generation using open ai gpt 3.5 turbo and its own internal vector database okay so this is as simple as this right uh, anybody can now run this collab notebook change certain parameters over here in terms of extensions of their files okay or talk with the uh, gpt hub uh, what do you call uh, talk to a, a github repo right so all these things can be easily done with this particular library okay now what are other features of this library what they say is that they have support for 100 plus llms okay uh, which includes a Microsoft Azure, Google Vertex AI, AWS Bedrock, Cloud AV2, right? A lot of LLMs are being supported over here, supports up to 20 plus vector um, databases. Okay. So you can have various other databases also, right? And uh, you can easily migrate from Llama Index if your previous code was in Llama Index, right? Uh, you have one line Gradio app and um, um, creation and deployment. That is what they are uh, looking at as upcoming roadmap, right? Budget based email notification, automated LLM evaluation. A lot of these things are coming up in the future. And here they are kind of comparing the uh, features, right? So if you look at the features, this also help, um, supports one line fast API creation, one line RAG LLM engine, cost calculation for 100 plus LLMs. It has a unified API. Support for 20 plus vector databases, 100 plus LLMs. So they have compared the features of auto LLM versus Langchain versus Llama index over here. Okay. So this is uh, quite easy to create, right? And uh, you can easily create, create web UIs as well as APIs. Okay. For your rag based LLM. So they have the code also, a code also over here for creating, you know, your fast API app in one line. So this is as simple as this right app is equal to auto fast api dot uh, from query query engine and this is how you run the app so you have this uh, you know server running over here right fast api based uh, rest api server running okay for your rag uh, what do you call rag based llm okay so you can check out this library i will share this library i will also share this collab notebook um, in the description of the video do check it out and see if it is useful for you uh, I'm looking out for more examples of auto LLM with say open source LLMs. I have not tried it out. Maybe when I try it out, maybe I'll create another video. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.